There are actually many proven methods to solve problem sums and many parents do not know them yet. Which is why once a week I try to do a Facebook Live for our community of over 4,000 parents. We actually force it into um, 12 in a group. Yeah? And have. The reason why I'm doing this is because I really feel that nowadays the parents really need this to help their children, and their children really need it. Hi there, this is John here from Learning Out of the Box. Do you find math getting harder for your child nowadays? Do you find that it's quite tough to teach your child problem sums at home? Do you find math getting harder by the year? If you say yes, you are not alone. In these past four years of creating Learning Out of the Box, I have found a simple and proven model that has worked for thousands of parents and children to not only make problem sums easy and also to enjoy learning it at the same time. This model has worked so well that local and overseas media have featured us like Channel 8 News, Dian He Wan Bao, and CCTV America. This model has also been adopted in some primary schools for the entire level and I have been invited to a school by their vice principal to teach their HODs uh, in how to use our model. Do you want to know how this can help your child too? I'm a parent like you too. I'm a father of three and two of them are in primary school right now. When my eldest girl was born, many friends had told me that I should be fearful of primary school math because they are so hard and my children are going to hate it. So like any loving father, I want to make math easy for her. So I started to find a model that can make math easy as well as likeable for my girls. Yeah. This is how I created learning out of the, of the box. Our model has three main components, namely concepts, processes, and skill sets. We call this a CPS model. Concepts are like guess and check, working backwards, and many other problem sum types that you have seen in your child's work. Processes are like highlighting of keywords, being able to identify the problem sum types, and using the right fast technique to solve it. Skill sets are like how to be less careless, making less careless mistakes, and how do you check your work so that you can get as many points as possible for your exams. We have a P6 girl who first joined us only in June and all along she had not been doing well for her math. But within a very short time of having learned our CPS model, she got an A for prelim. In fact, she told her mom that math is so much easier now and she can identify problem sum types faster. So as a result, she became more confident. So, this had actually gave her more energy and confidence to do well for her PSLE. Mommy Jennifer actually shared with us that thankfully she had found learning out of the box. The reason is because her son had not been doing math well all along because he had been failing for the longest time. In fact, it was so bad that weeks before his essay one, 
his ex-home tutor gave up on him. So, thankfully, a friend recommended us to her and she managed to get her child enrolled. So, what happened next is the child managed to pass after having learned our CPS model and the child actually shared with mommy. Mommy, it has been a long time that I have passed. This is our happy cupboard and we do reward the children who are hardworking with gifts. Yeah, and the reason why this works very well is because we have so many kids who are always solving questions after questions just to get the points and they use the points to exchange for the gifts. Yeah? In fact, this is one of their kids' favorite and the children are so nice that they exchange them and share with their friends. And of course, we have other gifts that, that are that vary in sizes like the Legos here that you can see right here. Can you zoom in? Yeah, as well as other individual uh, small gifts that, that uh, different children like. Um, our parents shared with us that they really thank us for this because this is something that got the children to be so excited about doing math questions and, and something that they had never been able to achieve at home because now their children are just doing math questions after math questions and, and there's no stopping and this is one of the reasons why our children are able to do well in school um, not because we force them to but because, because um, they, they want to do it willingly Yeah, so this is our center and once you come in, you can see the red and the white um, background so it's easy for you to identify Yeah, show them how it looks like around so it's easy for you to find our place Yeah, the, the parents always come here and they wait here for their children and do you want to come and see what's inside our center? Come, let's go! So when the children comes here, they have to put down their shoes because we want to keep the place clean here. And at the same time, because they do play games on the floor during the game break. They have 10 minutes of game break during the lessons it's itself. And when you come in, you will see our books. And right now it's quite empty because our staff are out preparing for lessons later. And in fact, there's a lesson going on here. So let's keep quiet, yeah? Come, let's go, yeah? Yeah, there's a lesson going on inside, so let's keep quiet. And this is Happy Cupboard, as you've seen earlier. And let me just come and show you um, how one of the rooms look like. And this is where your child will be sitting. And it's a very small group, so that a lot of attention can be given to your child to learn the problem sums 